Hey everyone, I hope you are well. In today's lesson, I will be exploring different types of industry and how we categorize them in English. This is the second part of this lesson. Make sure to watch the first part to catch up on the rest of the vocabulary relating to industries. I will link the first part in the description below and on screen right now. As usual, I am posting all the words covered in today's lesson in the word list in the description as well. If you're ready, let's start our lesson. Our first industry sector we will take a look at is administration, business support and waste management. This group of industries is comprised of companies which support other services. These activities range from people like secretarial workers, people who clean offices and other services like pest control, debt collection agencies, employment and recruitment agencies, and even security and waste disposal services. The next industry we will take a look at is called utilities. Utilities are essential services that play a vital role in economic and social development. Companies that are involved in the utilities industry supply things like water, electricity, natural gas and provide sewage and sanitation. Although utilities are private for-profit companies, they are part of the public service landscape, providing as they do such staples for daily living. Our next industry is educational services. Educational services can be explained as the training or instructions given on different subjects. Institutions giving these services on different subjects can be training and coaching centres, colleges, schools and universities. The next sector of industry we'll take a look at is the healthcare and social assistance industry. This is comprised of establishments providing healthcare and social assistance for individuals. The industry in this sector include physicians' offices, hospitals, medical laboratories, nursing homes and youth and family service centres. Moving along to our next industry, which is called the Professional Scientific and Technical Services Industry. This comprises of companies and organisations which specialise in performing professional, scientific and technical activities for others. This industry includes professionals such as accountants, advertisers, architects, engineers, HR consultants and lots of science related jobs. These activities require a high degree of expertise and training. The information industry is comprised of companies and organizations that are information intensive in one way or the other. Typically, establishments are engaged in the following processes, such as producing and distributing information and cultural products, providing the means to transmit or distribute these products, as well as data or communications, and processing data. The final industry we will take a look at is defined as the other services sector. This comprises of companies and organisations which are engaged in providing services not specifically provided for elsewhere in the classification system. Establishments in this sector are primarily engaged in activities such as equipment and machinery repairing, activities such as providing dry cleaning and laundry services, personal care services, death care services and pet care services. This sector also includes things like parking services and even dating services. So we could definitely call this sector a miscellaneous sector covering lots of things that are hard to squeeze into other classifications and industries. And that brings us to the end of this lesson on different types of industries. If you haven't checked out part one, make sure to do so after this video. And don't forget about the word list in the description below. If you're like me and have a huge passion for English language and English vocabulary, you should head over to my YouTube channel, Learning English Pro, where you'll find a wealth of resources on lots of different vocabulary topics. And if you can't find what you're looking for, let me know in the comments and I'll do my very best to make a video especially for you. 
Coming up on screen are some video suggestions chosen with you in mind. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, the link for that is on screen right now. So hit that and stay updated on all my latest videos. That just leaves me to say I hope you have a fantastic day. And remember, keep learning English like a pro.